I've got some merch made. <laughs> they're not, they're just stickers. As you know, line that up, Tony. As you know, I've got 300 and something batteries that I've got to test. These things. Now I've tested, with my name on them, I've tested quite a few of them, but the only trouble is the capacity testers that I've got, hang on, like this. This was sent to me free of charge, and I do use it quite frequently, but the only trouble is it only does four cells at once. It'll only capacity test four... What's this dust? Where's this f dust come from? It capacity tests four cells at once, but it'll charge eight cells at once. Now, that's all good if you've got limited to... No, f idiot. This is all good if you've got unlimited amount of time, because it takes... Oh, bloody hell. 24 hours, I think it is, to test four batteries, believe it or not. Purely because this will only pump in whatever the input of the USB um, charger is. Thing. Doesn't make much sense, Tony. Anyway, it takes nearly 24 hours to charge four batteries, or to capacity test four batteries, anyway. So I've got all these batteries here, which they are fantastic. Samsung INR 25Rs, INR18650 25Rs, which I'm going to be using on version 4 e-bike. Now, with having 300, to do those would take a long time. So I've come up with this. This is just a six cell holder. Simple as that. So you plug it into your charger there and you plug the balance in there and it does six cells at once. Now my only gripe with anything that you put 18650 batteries in is you have to make sure the polarity is right. If you get it wrong uh, things are going to happen. So I designed this whereby you put them all in the same way. Quite literally. You put them all in with the positive up. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. And you haven't got to worry. They all go the same way. It is relatively, it's quite simple. I'm quite proud of my own design. Literally, it, it it converts, it does the series conversion on its own. And it's as simple as that. Here's an unwired version. So you get some nickel wire. Wire. Nickel strip. You get some nickel strip. And you push it through there. And then you bend it over and you start and you, you spot weld it or you can solder it, it's up to you. I wouldn't advise soldering it purely because this is obviously plastic. Um, and then the cells will sit in there like that. You also need where are they? You also need some of these keystone um, contacts. So you've got one for the negative. And this one is the one for the positive, which I'm still waiting for some to come in. I have uh, completely run out. These are reclaimed ones, so that one goes on the positive. Or is it the other way around? No, that's the negative. Yeah, that one's the negative, that one's the positive. So you put the positive on there. I'm not going to push it all the way down, because they're a bastard to get off again. And then that one goes on there. And they sit on there like that, obviously pushed in all the way. I've done a 12 cell version, so literally you can just put 12 cells all in that way and then you can plug them in your charger, which I haven't got a 12S... Ooh. I haven't got a 12S charger, but it makes this a whole lot easier and compact. You can do the 6 version or the 12 version. Oh, I've got two of these six versions. 
but I thought it might be better just to do a 12 version and I can show you how to wire the 12. Six ones are easy. So, I'm going to start and I'm going to show you. Sun, 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 sun. 